Hello. Today we're going to be talking about children learning to recognise their name and learning to write their own name for the first time. Your child's name is truly the most important word to them. It will be the first word that they truly recognise properly. It will probably be the first word that they learn to write and it contains the first letters that they'll learn to read and write independently too. So it's really important that children have plenty of opportunity to see their name around their house. Today I'm going to be giving you some tips of what you can do with younger children, helping them to recognise their name, and children in the later stages of nursery who are about to move up to primary one, learning to write their name too. So to help young children recognise their name, a great tip is to put their name up on the door of their bedroom. Um, they'll pass it every day, they'll start to recognise it, um, and often you can buy nice things to put up too. However, a word of warning, lots of the wooden letters or name plates that you might buy for your child's door might have their name looking like this, where it's using all capital letters. That's good, you can have that up there, but I would also suggest putting their name up in a handwritten way. Uh, maybe you could make a sign at home where you have their name written with a capital letter for the start of their name and then all lowercase letters. This is quite important because the children will start to see the shapes of their name first. So they'll start to see that it's got tall letters, short letters, letters that hang down, ones that stick up in different places. Whereas capital letters, you don't see that difference between the letters. They'll start to recognise the first letter of their name first, probably, and they'll pick it out in environmental print, on buses, on posters, on things, and say, oh, that's me, that's me, that's my letter. Encourage that, but I would say use the letter sound for it. So say this is a s rather than s, or a, or h, instead of h. This is because these are the sounds that they'll learn when they go into school as well. Um, when you uh, have your child at a point where they're starting to learn to write their name, they'll have done a lot first. They'll have had lots of opportunities to play, they'll be moving physically, big movements with their arms, jumping, crawling, climbing. All these things are important before they actually start to write including things like block play, where they're starting to build up um, a pincer grip uh, by lifting blocks, building blocks and balancing them too. Eventually, they'll get to the point where they can start to write their name. Well, I have seen some parents try to do dot to dot with their, parent, uh, with their children uh, for their names. However, if you look at this name here, Mishka, it's really hard to actually see that and to track those letters. So, as the child's doing it, they're simply just following dots. They're not really seeing that it's their name. A much better idea is to write it in a highlighter pen. You get highlighter pens uh, all over the place, nice and cheap, um, and then they can see the name properly, and then they can trace over it nice and clearly. And they can see the letter M, mm, I, S, and so on, uh, to be able to write their own name. This is a great way, it's what we do as children are starting to learn to write as well. If we're scribing a story for them, we might write down some uh, of their sentence and they might trace over it initially as they're starting to learn to write. And some children will already be making some shape-like letters in their emergent writing. For those children, it might be just as easy to write the letters of their name, demonstrating to your child, and they can try and copy it underneath as well. Most children should be ready to write their name by themselves before they start primary school, but it will take some children a little bit longer. It, the important thing is that they've had lots of chances to do emergent writing. If you want to know more about emergent writing, click on the learning boost about that at the end of this video. We'll also put on a link at the end of the video to our letter sounds video and our letter formation one too, so you know how to uh, support your child at home with writing their name and the starts of their writing journey. Um, we hope you've uh, found this useful and we'll see you next time.